Hi you guys! Sunny and I are here to help you get your workspace set up today. Sunny's going to be a big help, I think. Um, she looks excited about it. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I have all of the supplies from your bucket set out here and we will talk about each one more as we begin to use them. But to get organized, um, I'd like you guys to maybe find something in your home. Maybe it's a, I have a mason jar, but it could just be a plastic cup or a container really of any kind. It's up to you. And if you don't have this, it's not a big deal. It just helps organize your space. So I'm going to put all my um, miscellaneous tools in this uh, mason jar. So you just take them all. Them in. I'm going to keep my pencil with my cute little booklet and then I'm just going to set them over here and then next thing I'm going to do is uh, we have all of our projects bagged up here and they are double bagged and it's because you want to prevent um, the, any air exposure. So it's important that you keep all these in their bags until it's time to use them. And then I even want you guys to put them back into, or maybe they're already in there, in this bigger bag and then seal that up. It's just going to make it much easier for you guys to work with this uh, later on. Okay, so grab actually this pinch pot, the one that says pinch pot, and you can save that one out. But then let's go ahead and put these other ones in this bag and now I'm going to go ahead and try and get all the air out and I'm going to go ahead and seal it up. And the other thing that you guys may need to find at your home and I tried to include lots of bags but you really can't have too many. Uh, it helps keep your projects uh, moist so that you can continue to work on them. Uh, as soon as your projects get dried out, uh, you kind of have to be done sometimes or you have to start over. So make sure you do keep them all sealed. Um, and then you're just going to leave them back in this bucket. Uh, you may have noticed in the bottom of your bucket there's this bag of crumpled up paper. Uh, it does have a purpose. It's there because at some point you guys are going to um, have to bring your projects back to school. And I, and my goal with this is that it's going to help um, keep it safe and secure and not break. We'll see. It's an experiment. But you can just save that in the bottom of your bucket and then just go ahead and keep all this clay in here. And then we're just going to set our bucket aside. When you're, um, when you're not working with your clay, I really want you guys to keep all of your tools and everything in this bucket. The only thing that you probably can't keep in this bucket is your working projects. Um, you may need to find a box or something that you can keep that in uh, so that it stays safe, um, but we'll get to that later. Um, next thing, you guys can go ahead and grab your towels and then you can take the tape off your towels that's on it. You can just throw that away and then unroll them. There's actually two towels here. Uh, one towel is going to be down for your workspace. And you're going to you're going to work on this um, often. If you have more towels um, at your house, you can even kind of double layer towels. Um, if you are working on a um, a nice table make sure that you talk to your parents maybe they want you to put something else down underneath this clay is very washable but um, it's the moisture because we do use water so uh, if it's something that is going to stain with water make sure you talk to your parents okay but everything you can wash up afterwards uh, but the towel is um, also to help the clay not to stick to the surface uh, the towel is easy to pick it up off with. And then this other towel is um, mostly to clean up anything that you spill or wash, you know, clean your hands off a little bit. 
it's just going to be there um, in case you need it. Um, and for our first project, we're not going to use the rolling pin. So if you want, you can just leave that close to your bucket. Um, and then the last thing is this little cup. You are going to want to put just a little bit of water in this cup. And then this is going to be what you use um, to work today too. Uh, but you just need a little bit of water. Don't fill it all the way to the top. Uh, you're just running the risk of spilling. So um, we probably just need a little bit. You can always add more, but we don't want to spill on our computers now. Okay. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and go get a little bit of water and then uh, we'll be ready to work on our first project.